brothers and sisters, my name is Brody Luna. I'm the youth minister here at Burgles Chapel Church of Christ. And in times of trial and tribulation and what's going on in the world, a few passages of scripture came to mind, a few thoughts I kind of wanted to pass along to you. Uh, in times of trouble, mankind always drops what they're doing. They forget about bickering and fighting and petty differences. They come together and they help each other out. Mankind has always done that in tragedy and um, in disaster and, and war and, and, and everything. Um, and today, in today's times, there's, there's no difference. You see that all across the nation and across the world. People coming together to help each other out and lift each other up. Uh, they come together to get through tough times. And the majority of mankind often turn back to God. Which is not a bad thing, but us as Christians, those who are followers of Christ, rely on God in everything, in every time of, of tribulation. Uh, something that comes to mind, it was brought to my attention about a certain scripture uh, found in 2 Chronicles. 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verses uh, 13 through 7. When I shut up heaven, there is no rain, or command the locusts who devour the land, or send pestilence among my people. If my people who are called my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear them from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal their land. Now, again, this is in 2 Chronicles, and keep in mind, this is God talking to Solomon. But there are some lessons to take from this. Keep in mind what happened in Australia with the fires, and then in Africa with the locusts, and then across the world what's going on now with this, with this virus. It is a good time to kind of reflect and humble yourselves and rely on God in times of trial. Us as Christians have always relied on God during troublesome times. This is also a good time to reach out to others, to help lift them up through troublesome times who may not know God. Another passage that comes to mind is, in, is found in Proverbs chapter 3. And this is one of the more popular verses in Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. But I want to take it a couple of steps further and look at verses 7 and 8. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. So a lot of what's going on in the world, we're kind of relying on mankind to help us heal, to help us... Um, you know, find an antidote to what's going on. But the true medicine behind everything is being faithful to God. If you put your trust in God and don't worry and don't lean on man's understanding, yes, medicine does work. It does. But the true medicine is having faith in God and trusting him that he will get you through, it, through what's going on. Lastly, brothers and sisters, there's almost an entire book that's kind of dedicated to uh, going through tough times and profiting from trials. It's the book of James. A lot of people turn to the book of James when they're going through tough times because it offers a lot of encouragement and, and good wisdom through the words in the book of James. Starting in, in the first chapter. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God who gives it, who gives all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. Let him ask in faith, with no doubting, for he who works, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. For let not that man suppose he will receive anything from the Lord. He is double minded man unstable in his ways. Going through trials 
and tribulations and, and bad times, if you stay faithful, it will, it will produce good fruit to the Lord. Moving on to verse 12. Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has approved, he will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who love him. Let no one say, when he is tempted, I am tempted by God. During these tough times, we can all be tempted, but we are not tempted by God. We are tempted by Satan. We are tempted by man's evil works. But each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. Then when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is full grown, brings forth death. Do not be deceived, my beloved brethren. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. Of his own will he brought us forth by one word of truth that we might be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Friends, we're going through a tough time. Let's encourage each other. We can turn on each other for encouragement, but let's turn to God that he will get us through this. If you need anything from us, from the church, from the elders, from Dale, from me, we're here for you. Whatever we can do, if you need encouragement, if you need someone to talk to, we're here for you. Take care. Lean on God from this whole situation of the coronavirus. We'll get through this. God will see us through this. And God bless.